Hey guys, welcome back to the Pettit Life. Good morning. So we are in Branson, Missouri uh, for me and Jada's first time. Mom and Dad were here earlier this year. Uh, but we're here to go to Silver Dollar City for the, uh, for the Christmas lights. Uh, we found out that they have some of the best Christmas lights in the whole country, especially in like a theme park setting. So we're going to check it out and bring it to you guys and uh, just kind of do a little overview of the whole thing and uh, maybe, ride some rides. maybe ride some rides and stuff like that and see some shows and uh, some of that fun stuff. Just something a little different on here again. You guys that have been following us for a while know that every now and then we take trips other than racing and uh, we try to bring that to you too. So uh, yeah, hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it's a good time. We'll see y'all when we get there. Hey, it's Jada. Hey, it's Jason. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the Pettit, Pettit Life. So we're here. <laughs> here we go. I've already got some of them on. So this is a quick shot of the park map. You can also pick up a hard copy of this when you go in the gate. There's the tree that's going to be lit up later. Look at these old cabins. This church has moss on the roof. Yeah. I hear roller coasters taking off. I know it. Oh, this is cool. And it's warm in here. I guess you can walk those paths down through there to different stuff. We'll check that out here in a little bit. Yeah, this place is neat. Look at the hand crochet dolly of the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer, yeah. Jim Hunt says Daniel Boone nearly killed a grizzly bear on this spot in 1882. Huh. That's pretty neat. This place is awesome. It's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. Beautiful. Very hilly. It's very mm -hmm. hilly. I love how they just use the natural terrain to just stage everything.
far, Chief? Oh. Far, yeah, look at that smoking area. It says FAR. That's wild. FAR. <laughs> We'll be doing this after a while, but that's where the Christmas in Midtown <laughs> is later. It's lit up now, but you can't see it as good. And here we go. It is beautiful. Frisco Scenic Railway Line. We'll ride the train after a while too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's the saloon. Yeah, two o'clock. We may try to catch that show. Yeah, this place has been awesome so far. This is so weird. Powder cake's never open. High rail is always open. <laughs> On our way into fire in the hole after the end of this year it'll be tore out and they're going to do a big roller coaster in its place glad we're going to get to ride it all right well we didn't get to film it but we did get to ride but it we did get to ride it so sorry so that means you guys are just going to have to get over here and ride it before they take it out yeah. but uh but but it was it fun. It's actually better than than Blazing Fury, Fury in ways. Hollywood? Yeah, there's an extra drop. Yeah. And it goes the train goes a little it's faster. Faster. Yeah. Faster pace. But, but definitely if you get a chance come you do it. Come ride it before they tear it out. Yep. We're having lunch at Rivertown Smokehouse. I got brisket, beans, and mac and cheese. Jay got smoked turkey cuz he doesn't like brisket. That's good. Too. Are these other it's really ones good. So, and then we're gonna split our refill cup, which we got for Christmas, which is cute. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. I got the heat turned on. It's kind of nice in here. All right. <laughs> we're gonna do the flooded mine. shoot at stuff while you're in here.
how important they are. Check canary for gas Targets up.
we decided to go ahead and wait in line for the saloon show. We think it was worth it. Here's y'all a sample. Perch tie atop that dumb waiter. Our own technical genius, Miss Behaving. <laughs> and working hard for y'all behind the bar, it's Miss Ivana Flow. Yes. <laughs> It's Art Peggio. <laughs> and of course, my trusty sidekick, Chop Talk Charlie. Merry Christmas! From your Wild West heartthrob, Chop Talk Charlie. Oh, okay. right. perfect stocking stuffer for the ladies. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You gotta go clean up. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, and folks, how could we forget these hard-working Christmas cuties? Let's hear it for them. First up, it's the spunky and vivacious Miss Jo. Next, it's the feisty but sweet Miss Belle. That songbird of the South, Miss Georgia. And last, but certainly not least, our own wacky whisper tickling, it's Miss Tilly. Next up, we got the Frisco Silver Dollar Line, and here she comes in to pick us up. All right, so I'll be voicing over most of this train ride because it was a sing-along train, and they were playing music that you were supposed to sing along to pretty much the whole time. And uh, we don't want to get copyrighted on that. So um, here we are, the station to the left. Over here to the right is a lot of the park. Uh, we're getting ready to go around through here. And as you head out, a lot of the park is kind of off to the right. Uh, some of it will still be to the left. But you can see the, uh, see the engine up there in front of us. And... Uh, some of the lights are starting to show up where it's an overcast day, but uh, this is a close rail train, what they call a close rail train. The train at Dollywood is a full size train, so there is a difference there, but uh, people waving to us here on the right. But it was a lot of fun, and um, I definitely would recommend doing it if you're here. Um, we really enjoyed it. Again, a lot of the park over here to the right. Um, I just love the theming around here. Uh, we mentioned that earlier, but it really fits the location with the split rail fences and the, the theming of like the, the Old West, Midwest uh, theming throughout the whole park. They, they killed it with that here, we think. Um, just good use of surroundings and the areas and, uh, and all that. Okay, so we had stopped for a second here because there's actually two trains on the tracks at all times. Uh, they're kind of equally apart, if you will. So the other train is kind of on the other side over there. If you look, you can see the smokestack coming up from it. But they use the whistle uh, to communicate with each other, which is 
we thought was pretty neat to let the other one know that this one's stopping and that, that one can go so that they don't end up, um, you know, anything happening. But uh, we head off into the woods a little bit here, and you can see here that they've got Christmas lights uh, along the tracks on down through here. Of course, this would be really beautiful at night. Um, we wanted to try and uh, ride this again at night, but um, we didn't end up getting to. Over here to the right, you'll see uh, here in just a second, one of the roller coasters cresting, and there they go. We thought that was kind of neat that uh, we got close to that as we went around through here. Over here to the right, we've got more lights coming up uh, over here in the wood line. Um and little cabins and stuff like that nice little touches like that along the way that just make uh make it a little more interactive experience this was a lighted kind of like tunnel thing that we went through there but um there's a moonshine still there to the right and like i said those little outbuildings and more christmas lights and stuff like that so they did a pretty good job of having something for you to look at other than just trees and vegetation even though that's awesome um kind of throughout the ride You can already see these bells lit up. There's that bridge. Uh-huh. Walk your horse or pay a two dollar fine. Franklin. <laughs> a little bit more. Swinging bridge over there. Did you get what you wanted? Yes. All right, there's the tree again up there. Okay. All right, it's starting to rain, but it is getting dark enough for the lights to show up. So we're going to try and go ahead and get you guys some of the lights. So Christmas in Midtown is like the main focus. Way. <laughs> Focus point of the lights, but they're literally all over the park. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, this is wild. See the angels flying across. There's a big globe up there in the trees. Yeah, this is pretty. <laughs> so literally, they got the lights throughout the whole park. Thank <laughs> you. 
Big Christmas bow, big tree all the way up. Hopefully you can pick it up. And there's what the front looks like after dark. And we're freezing and it's raining. Yeah, and it's rainy and cold and wet. We're going back. But hopefully you guys enjoyed what we got for you. And if you get a chance, I would come see it. We uh, actually like it better than Dollywood, if you want to know the truth. All right, well, what did you guys think about uh, Silver Dollar City? It uh, it was different. Uh, it had been years since we had been to the one in uh, Tennessee, but, uh, but it was, uh, there was a lot going on, and the lights were beautiful. It was, yeah. It was very crowded. The lights were beautiful, but it was... It started raining on us there at the end, and and it was cold and getting cold and wet. So we tried to go ahead and film the lights, but before it got completely windy. dark. But yeah, so. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy what we got, and uh, I I definitely would recommend coming. We got and, to do what we come for. Yep, we did. We rode fire in a hole before they tear it out. Yeah. We rode the mine, the flooded mine, in case they ever end up uh, tearing, it tearing it out. And uh, yep. A lot of the rides were... Yeah, the train was fun. Yeah, a lot of the rides were delayed or closed. The yeah. rain didn't help any either. Right. So... But, uh... But, yeah, the lights were totally worth it. Yeah. It was beautiful. It was. I will definitely recommend it. It was beautiful. All right. Well, we'll see, see you all in the next, next one. next time. Bye. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for our next big adventure. Like, share, and subscribe to get that content.